Hello there, my friends. I haven't been uploading for a while and I'm very sorry about that. But today I'm here with a new thrift haul, which I wanted to film actually for a couple of months already, so it's not exactly new. And since I was trying to lose some weight, some of the things are actually bigger on me already than they were when I bought them. But it's totally fine, they're still great. And I have two piles, one on the right and one on the left. I really want to get started because there's just way too many things to show you. And the first thing I have here is this really cute straw bag. I can honestly tell you that I've never thought in my life that I'm going to be obsessed with straw bags. But since they started being trendy recently, since I was meeting a lot of cool ones in the thrift stores, I started my collection, I would tell. I have two to show you today and there is one more I'm going to show you in my next thrift haul, which is going to be here very soon as well. This is the first one and it's just so adorable. It has the silver hearts. I'm pretty sure there were three more hearts down here but somebody took them off. I wish they didn't, but what are you gonna do? I don't think it's real leather. I don't think it was very expensive originally. It kind of reminds me of a bag that somebody would buy for their daughter rather than for themselves. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But I love it no matter what. I already worked with some cute vintage outfits. And the second straw bag is basically a straw tote. And it looks like this. And it kind of loses its shape when you put stuff in it. There is stuff there right now, just because I use it every single day when I go out. It's so convenient. I just throw it on my arm like this, and I walk around, and I can always get something that I need from here, and it's a perfect size for the days when I need something more than just a little cross body bag. I love the colors. It's kind of beige with either dark green, or really, really dark gray. I can't really tell. I usually wear it with black outfits. I also wear it with olive outfits. It just fits everything perfectly. I took it on my trip to Kansas City already. And actually, a lot of things I'm gonna show you today, I styled when I went to Kansas City and I filmed them in my vlog, which is already edited and you're going to see it very soon, I promise. So this is all from the bags. I'm not sure why I even started with the bags. I usually don't do that. New me, new things, new habits. Straw bags were from Arx Valley Village. That's usually the only thrift store that I can find a really good straw bags at. I'm not sure about Savers and Goodwill. I usually don't have a lot of luck there with those bags. But I had some other luck at Savers recently and I found a really cool jacket that I was wearing a lot this spring. And it's this khaki, 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 I'm not sure how you say that. It is khaki denim jacket that looks like this. I love that it has two sides of a buttons. It's my favorite style for jackets. I'm sure it has a name, this style, but I can't remember it right now. I was looking for a jacket I can style with my gold, like antique gold brooches. I mean, they're not antique, but the color of the brooches is antique gold. So I was looking for a jacket that would be content with these brooches because any other jackets I was trying to put them on before, they just didn't match each other, if you know what I mean. I'm pretty sure you already saw this telephone and this moon brooches, but this one is actually from my mom and she brought me it last year when she visited. I was really happy that she found it. It's very, very old. This one I bought from Eric's Value Village recently. It's not completely anti-gold color, but it has some of it here and I think it still fits very well. I really like it. I was wearing this jacket a lot. It fits a lot of outfits. It's really good when the weather is warm but windy. And yep. Another jacket I was wearing a lot was this heavy real leather jacket that I found in a vintage store that's called Everyday People here in St. Paul. They actually sell some stuff in that vintage store, so I've got some credits. I decided to spend them because they were just lying around for months. I knew that I wanted a black leather jacket. I found this one. It is not exactly what I wanted to find, but I still think it's a pretty good find, especially for just store credits. It again has this kind of double button situation going on. I'm not sure about the color 
color i was convinced that this is black but when i look at the light it seems more like very very dark blue which fits really good with my dark gray dr martens so i didn't mind that at all shoulders seem to be much bigger than i would want them to be and then they should be for the size of the jacket because it seems to be medium but i think it's just the style and to fix that problem at least a little bit i was just cuffing sleeves like that i know it's leather and it's probably not the best idea to cuff the sleeves like that but i thought it didn't really matter as long as i'm wearing it the next thing i have here is actually a dress which is probably too warm for the weather we have right Right now but it was perfect in spring when I just bought it it's pretty long and it sits on your figure and has this v-neck kind of top and I was wearing it over the beige t-shirt and actually with this khaki jacket and again with Dr. Martens and it looked really really cool it gives your outfit some kind of feminine vibe if you style it with combat boots and oversized denim jacket it balances it out it also has this really long cut on the leg, which makes it even more sexy. And can I just say that I really like the name of this brand? It's called Dance in Paris. I have no idea what kind of brand it is, where I can buy it, but the name makes me want to find it and buy everything they have. This dress was from Arx Valley Village as well. I'm actually collaborating with this thrift store on my Instagram and they sent me a couple of coupons that I was able to use. Another great thing I found there were these pants and this is Lauren Conrad. I wasn't really familiar with this brand when I found them, but now I kind of know more about it and I think it's a pretty good brand. This pants are just pants of my dreams they're skinny they're dark gray and they have this cute velvet floral pattern all over them which i thought was really great design i was really into gray colors recently dark gray black and olive those were the colors i was adding more and more to my wardrobe and it's kind of weird because in summer you usually start getting brighter colors but i don't know sometimes i feel like bright colors as well but not all the time I guess. Anyway, they were pretty tight when I bought them at first. Right now they sit perfectly. I wear them so much. I am very happy about them. Talking about velvet, I also found this incredible dress, which I wear like a top. This is this Banana Republic dress, and my height is 5'2", but this dress is too short for me. I'm not sure what you're supposed to be to wear it as a dress. And I actually really like this cleavage, I guess that's the word, right? And I really like that the straps are made of some kind of silky material. I've styled it with olive jeans, actually, and with black leather jacket anyway a really good find and I'm not sure if this is considered velvet as well or not I have this brown sleep the cleavage looks really interesting I actually haven't worn it yet and it still has a tag on if you have any idea how to style it please tell me it's kind of long so I have to tuck it into the skirt probably I didn't have a right skirt for that I also have amazing find from Goodwill here. So this is this black leather belt with this silver decor all over it and with a silver tip. I hope I'm not wrong and this is southwestern style. This is perfect size for my waist and I love it. I was styling it with so many things already. It's very universal. I'm still on a hunt for a dark brown one in the same style. I'm still looking, but this one is my favorite thing ever. I was also trying to come up with some interesting vintage outfits recently. I was actually planning on making a vintage lookbook. I don't know, tell me if you would be interested in something like that. But I found several really cool skirts for that and I really like them. The first one is this gingham long skirt. It's perfect with the black belt I just showed you. These silver buttons are such a great detail. I just love gingham pattern recently as well so i'm a huge fan of this skirt the only thing is that it's kind of long for me and i can't really cut it myself i might ask somebody to cut it for me or i might leave it like this but wear it with heels kind of flannel material so it's not too thick i think i will still be able to wear it in summer the other one is this denim one and it's kind of the same style very flattering for the body and i was wearing it with this brown belt which i think 
fits perfectly here and has this really cute cream buttons and pockets it's probably big for me right now but belt can always solve this problem so that's nice and actually the length of this one is perfect for me so i was already wearing it styling it with this straw bag i thought it was really cute did i mention that i was really obsessed with them because here is the third one and this one is actually from poshmark i was ordering some things from poshmark a couple months ago and then one of the things never came and i was waiting for a fund for a long time so i'm not shopping there anymore unless i find something really unique i guess yeah this one is basically like the denim one but it's just a black fabric but it is too long i need to shorten this one somehow or wear heels but i still like it a lot i've also got this really cute polka dot beige shirt which is made kind of from this crushed material i'm not sure if Crush is the right word for it, but that's how I would call it. And it has this really big buttons. I don't know, I really like it, but I never wore it. It still has a tag on. I think it would look really cute with black jeans or with a black skirt maybe even and tight on the bottom. It's pretty simple. I like it. I was also shopping for some band t-shirts because band t-shirts are like the best thing to throw on and go for a walk or to the grocery store. I just think they're so comfortable and stylish at the same time. I've got this gray one with rolling stones. I really love this font and colors. This is the back. I couldn't resist and I ordered placebo shirt from eBay when I found it and this is this one. I'm obsessed with this shirt and I was wearing it a lot with black jeans, Dr. Martens and long wool vest which is this burgundy color. It has lyrics from one of my most favorite songs by them, Baby Did You Forget To Take Your Meds. And then there's also this very basic Pink Floyd t-shirt. I haven't been shopping for flannels lately because it's pretty warm outside now, but I got this flannel a couple of months ago and I really like it. I haven't had flannels like this color. It's this dark gray color with a bunch of brown and white stripes going on. Yeah, it's for men and it's very big, but those are the best kind of flannels, right? I think the last thing I'm going to show you today is this very cute watch. I actually found it in a local thrift store which is called Bethesda it has this genuine leather brown band and vintage detail and deer on it I wish they would work I'm pretty sure they're fixable but I haven't gone anywhere yet to make them work I'm planning on doing so I usually don't wear any kind of watch I am one of those people who just look at the screen of their phone I don't care because these are so cute that I'm going to wear and I'm going to read time from them I think that's it for today I'm sorry it was kind of out of order like one thing here one thing there but I tried my best it's always so hard to come back after a couple months and try filming again it feels like a brand new experience every time I take any kind of breaks you probably noticed a bunch of things on my background and those are the things I'm going to show you in my next video which is also a thrift haul but thrift haul of only just home decor items I'm so happy to be filming again I love you guys please don't forget to leave likes and write me comments down below and click that subscribe button if you haven't already thank you so very much for watching I feel great after talking to you bye